Hello and welcome back to our Italia campaign. Now, I will point out that I have been sick, so that's why this video is late and also why my voice might sound a little bit uh, worse. Or better. I mean, it is slightly deeper, so I, I can do a great Batman impression. Where is she? Anyway, whatever. Let's move on. I have just finished the League War and we have dismantled the Empire. I have also seen in the uh, comments section that it did uh, what we did we I mean obviously we cheated right we used the console to change someone's uh, occupations and the, yeah that not everyone was especially pleased with that but I'm gonna stick with what we did uh, I do think it is for the best and remember guys this is not some sweaty hardcore multiplayer lobby this is just for fun it's just to showcase the mod and i feel like sometimes when the game's mechanics get in the way in a way that isn't really fitting which i, I feel like this was i well what i'm saying is that i don't feel bad and i would do it again but what i'm also trying to do is vassalizing kunea so what we're going to do is we're going to influence him for 25 so there it is there is the vassalization and now we have a pretty decent spread of vassals it's only parma here that's a little bit you know out of the way uh they do actually have quite a few allies more than i remembered uh whatever i'm still gonna take your land and maybe i will also take ferrara's land i don't know i don't know how aggressive we can be with our expansion i feel like we do need to still be a little bit cautious so uh maybe we'll we'll have a look ah right so um yeah we we can't actually do much that's we already have quite a bit of aggressive expansion with people so yeah it looks like ferrara get to go free this time Am I even going to be able to take Parma, actually? No. Well, that is... awkward. I guess for right now, what I'm going to do, then, is just wait for a long time. The cloth guilds of Mantua are extraordinarily powerful, and often operate as their own sort of government, making deals with foreign powers to support their own interests. While they're nominally part of our realm, our rule over that part of the country has always been patchy. In 1410, the guilds launched an all-out rebellion against our rule in protest of our tariffs. Uh, declaring the city independent and trying to get support from the rest of the Federation. While I failed in that endeavor, our vicious reaction to the rebellion and our harsh punishment of the conspirators provoked the Adirim and his allies into the first war of the Grand Alliance, invading Italia and despoiling our countryside. Similar things seem to be going on once again. Our ancestors declined to destroy the guilds of Mantua, fearing their existence was the sole reason for the city's high productivity. But this decision has come back to bite us. The guilds are complaining again, this time of religious discrimination, and now they demand the Adirim get involved in a mutual as a mutual arbiter. Everybody knows it's simply a ploy to get Adirim more involved in our politics, which will decline their ultimatum and annihilate these dangerous men once and for all. Um Okay, so the Mantua Clothiers are uh What what is that that gives us? See, that's just really good, though. That's so good. I feel I can deal with this. It's fine, right? I kind of like the Mentua Cloth Ears bonus. It's, it's just really good. Easy peasy. Not a problem. And then we can get to keep the bonus, you know? We just get to keep the bonus. So, one of the missions that I have here is the Mantua Guilds. Battling the guilds of Mantua, we foster a hub of innovation and craftsmanship, enhancing our cultural and economic strength. And I need to get Mantua to 25 development. Right now, it's at 20. But also, I need colonialism because it's it's spreading really, really slowly and I have lots of points banked up. So we're actually going to dev Mantua to the moon. Uh, and that will probably do us very well. we got the local dev cost there on already. Uh, and then as soon as we get to 30, we obviously need to click the uh, button for expand infrastructure. Uh, but for now, I think we're just going to mostly focus on uh, dip and military. Uh, does this give anything else? Uh, plus two base production in Mantua. We're going to wait on that one purely because that will increase the dev cost. And I'm still deving, so... We can't leave it at 39. There we go. 40. Make that. 42. 
and we got a super early textile manufactory for an extra plus one goods produced. So this province is making me fat stacks of ducats. Lots of money being made over here in the Serenza trade node, being pushed over into uh, this area here in Roma, and I am currently integrating Genoa and also Modena. So as soon as they're integrated, we'll have ourselves a natural harbor and maybe we'll be able to start building some boats over here and uh, getting a little bit more of this Italia trade node. That would be nice. We also have a new ability, and I, I saved this up because we have a special one. We have the Italian Resolve giving us minus 20% shock damage received, which is it's just ah, oh, it's so good. That is such an amazing boost. Uh, Punic War Elephants is probably better. That's kind of cracked. Um, but yeah, no, we're very... Yeah, that, that's that's nice. We'll take that. And we now have enough to embrace colonialism. 700 ducats. I could wait until it spreads a bit, but I really can't be asked. Let's just do that. So, we unlocked a new idea group. I've gone with infrastructure ideas and gotten the first in it, which allowed us to get to the Great Temple of Mars. Mars was a virtuous god of war for the people of Italia, until the vile Punitians twisted him into a monster. We must reclaim this image and elevate his position so to that of supremacy within our country. Only the best patronage will do. Nothing short of a great temple erected in his name in our capital would satisfy him. So we get some land fire damage and some army tradition out of that, which is quite nice. And I guess uh, we, sh we already have a cathedral, so we don't really need to do anything there. We're, we're, we're done. Uh, I also took, as my tier 5 military reform, I took elite mercenaries, which has enabled mercenary militarization for me. So I can just pump some ducats into here uh, to gain extra discipline on my mercs. Um, and so, yeah, that works out quite nicely. I am going to start using mercenaries a bit more frequently. Mercenaries are also a little bit more... Um, uh, generals, I guess. That's not the word at all. But they've got better generals in, in general now, which is also really, really hot. Uh, that six shock there is looking mighty tempting. Uh, I think we'll grab him in a moment. But uh, yeah, we're going to grab this Virginius Horatius. Maybe not forever, but just temporarily, because then we can finish the Found the College mission. Founding a college of history, per we preserve and celebrate our illustrious past, educating future generations in the legacy of Rome. So with that, uh, I just needed the historian. We devved already, got the courthouse. And so we get province, governing cost, and admin tech cost until the end of the game, which is uh, kind of nice. We're just going to attack Tyrol directly. Have a nice bit of conquest. All right, so we're 100% now. Um, the question is... What can we take, right? Because if we take just Bologna, uh, it's a little bit of aggressive expansion, but only two people would join. Uh, if I take that as well, it gets a little bit hairy. Uh, obviously, I want to take um, all of the Tyrol state. That's still only two. What about if I separate piece Liguria, right? What about if I take all of it? Well, we got it. We're getting there. We're getting. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. How about we do this? Right, right, right. And now what happens if we have this? Ugh, it's a little bit much. Maybe we wait until the end of the year. We'll pop you back on. I'm going to try and find myself a uh, improved relations fella. And now we're kind of getting the backlash or the, uh, the negative part of with making everyone the uh, same religion as us because now they care when I you know, annex them which is I don't I don't feel like that's fair at all they they should not care I feel like I'm strong enough though you know I, I feel like I feel like fuck it is what I feel like uh look I want the gold mine I'm not going to lie there we go we got the gold mine I I, I feel I feel confident that this is a choice that we have made. We'll we'll see if there was a good choice. I don't I don't know just yet, but it was an choice, and we'll see what people end up thinking about our choice. By the way, I'm using a new map mod. If you've been following my multiplayer series, you will have seen it already. 
Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think of it. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description below. And speaking of below, how about you leave me some comments? Uh, I asked for comments in the previous couple of episodes, and uh, you guys really pulled through on that. And actually was really, really uh, enjoyable to see uh, just how much of a difference that made. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and um, I hope you... Uh, Hope you hope you want to you want to do that again, because uh, that that'd be cool. Let me know what you think of the series. Let me know what you think of the map mode. Do you have any other favorite map modes that you would like to recommend? Let me know in the comments. So purely through the annexation of this coastline here, uh, we've managed to really boost our trade income. Uh, we're now at twenty eight percent of the best trade node in the world. I say in the world, but I mean, Ming's probably really up there as well. Uh, but yeah, no, there's 45 ducats in here. We own 28%, which is the largest share of it. And I have also increased all of these to level 2 each. Uh, so we're doing really, really hot when it comes to uh, the trade. Uh, we should start making a lot more money now from trade, which is going to be so nice. Uh, I still need to annex Parma, although you're not going to give me any trade center. Uh, I think generally the plan is then going to be make our way down the coastline here. We would like to take Pisa, obviously would like to take Roma, would like to take Naples, and also very much looking forward to annexing uh, the island of Sardinia. I think, though, what we need to do is uh, kind of chill for a moment. Uh, once again, the aggressive expansion is... Uh, excessive and expansionistic um, so it's gonna be uh, a case of chilling although the fact that the coalition or rather no coalition has formed against me uh, makes me think uh, I'm doing pretty kind of all right uh, the uh, the AI don't seem to be caring all that much about me um, which is very lovely uh, and also I'm making myself an flagship we're gonna call it the Neptunus have another idea unlocked, which means we get to finish yet another one of our national ideas. The Court of the North. The many other states of the Federation are small, mostly encompassing but one city. Ours is, on the other hand, a kingdom on its own, encompassing hundreds of settlements and wielding extraordinary power compared to our neighbours. Controlling all these disparate areas is quite a difficult task, and as a result, our country has adopted a policy of recruiting courtiers from the provinces, ensuring every man can look to the palace and see a familiar face there. So we get all the state's loyalty, equilibrium, and yearly corruption reduction, which is nice, because corruption being lower means I spend less money on rooting it out. Uh, lovely stuff. Well, this is an sad day. We have lost our Regina. She's dead. Somewhere in here. Now we must make do with her son, Curtius Sapiobal, the guy who... Who gained like three military points through one feast? Uh, he was he was on fire that day. Uh, but yes, unfortunately, uh, she is in fact dead. So we got to make do. We got to make do. We'll uh, swap over to diplomatic focus here and be uh, yeah, relatively balanced. That's not too bad. Um, he's also half price, which is quite lovely. Uh, we're slightly over our governing capacity, but we have been building some core houses. I'm going to spam out the rest of them there. Alright, we have a son. Oh, I mean, it could be a daughter, actually. I haven't checked. The house of Caligulanus has gotten itself a 3-3. Th you know what? I'll take a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And marriage to a 3-3-5. I, I feel like I always have uh, better consorts. <laughs> strict there as well. I always have better consorts than I have heirs. It's just always seems to be the case. I'm going to go and kill the rebels as well. So it doesn't impact my trade too much, which is now to 36%, by the way. So we're really, really rolling in it at the moment. Uh, it's very, very handy. Okay, we have a couple of claims on Sardinia. We're going to attack them. They're going to call in Pisa, which is another one of the provinces I want. Malta, which I don't have any transport, so I'm not going to be able to get to. And Aravia, which are over here and kind of irrelevant. But if they march over, then, you know, we'll be able to uh, deal with that. So I'm going to undrill those guys. We're going to declare the war. Lombardy could help. Um, sure. I, there's no problem with that. Uh, there is a Sardinian ship there. So maybe we wait until 
my fleet has gone and dealt with uh, that little dude, or get him into the same sea tile at least. And yeah, let's go. Sardos will fall. Here's a chance to actually test my quality, right? So we have six maneuvers, so we're not going to get a crossing penalty, but we are going to go into hills against an army that is one, uh, 1,000 men, you know, more populous than what we have. I'm curious to see how this goes. Um, they have a lot more cavalry as well. Maybe they're going to run into the issue of insufficient, like, cavalry to infantry ratio. But yeah, I'm curious how this battle goes. We have one point of morale over them. Uh, they do have discipline over me, though. However, my mercenaries have 6.4% extra discipline. So, they don't actually have any discipline over me. Uh, it, I mean, we're losing less men. Uh, we, I mean, we won. We won. That's, that's the, you know, the main thing. But yeah, no, that's an interesting battle. For sure. But yeah, uh, I do, I do like, uh, the fact that my mercs were able to win that one. Hell yeah. Pisa, we can take, but it is a little bit of a coalition former. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it anyway. We're close to the end of the year. Uh, I think we're gonna wait until December and then piece them out. Here we go. So a couple of them, actually just uh, Mollism will leave the coalition or be too low, I think, to join it uh, now. But there are still others that would be able to join it. Uh, we also finished the siege of Sardinia. So if I was to take exactly what I want from Sardinia, it's a little bit much. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little too much. Too much. Um, how about that? No. Uh, how about, how about, no. How about, uh, maybe, temporarily, potentially. I think we can swing that. I think we can swing that. Uh, and we can go in again later. I'm actually just going to do it now then. Uh, transfer trade power. How are you not going to give me trade power? Like, unbelievable. I think we can wait a little bit longer uh, until they will give us trade power. Pays though is very important because it obviously has the natural harbor. Uh, it was also like an incredible amount to core, like 149, which is kind of wild. But it is fully stated already, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, but this is a very, very well dev state. Like holy hell, another good little uh, test of our military. We have a five-five mercenary general versus an army that's about four, four or five thousand more um, plentiful. Uh, marching into hills, probably across a river, yeah. So we got a minus two, but I think shock phase, we're just gonna wipe him, though. Thankfully, he rolled a zero in the first phase. Shock phase, uh, we got an 11 to his two, or I guess a nine to his two, and yeah, I mean, I mean, clearly we didn't need those reinforcements, right? <laughs> anyway, you want to leave the war, so I, I want to get out of this war now. Apparently not. This is also one of the big powers of mercenary ideas. Like, the, the my guy is so cheap. Minus 90% advisor cost. A level 5 advisor for 3.6 ducats. And overgoverning capacity isn't changing that. It's actually kind of wild. Uh, even, even this guy's half price. And he's still 14 ducats. Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. And, you know, 33% of that comes from uh, mercenary ideas, right? Because we've got... Where is it? Here. 25% there. And I think I've got a policy? Yeah, another 33% there. Merc ideas are kind of broken, overpowered. Like, people are wondering why I took them. I uh, Because they're, they're OP. They're just straight up OP. They're banned in most MP lobbies or nerfed significantly. And, well, they're not in the single player, so we're going to go with them. Oh. I died. And now we have a red... Regalina Red Regency. A 335 Regency... You know, I'm not going to complain about a 335 Regency with discipline. Uh, yeah, now we'll take that. We'll also take a little bit of fort maintenance. And we're one away from getting our final idea and our finisher. Uh, yay. 
We'll peace out now with Sardinia. Um, I, I still think that's probably fine. I don't think it's necessary to take those final provinces. Take as much money as we can, war reps, and trade. And we've basically gotten a little bit more of this land. Very nice. Uh, we will core it all, and I'm going to get myself as soon as we can. Unfortunately, they've caught my spy. We're going to try and get ourselves a claim on Carthilun, which is uh, going to get ourselves into Sicily and start taking the Italian peninsula from the south as well as from the north. Uh, yeah. We now have 47% of the main trade node, the most valuable trade node in the mod. Although, I will say, as I am recording this, there was recently a teaser uh, primed for the uh, next update of Post Finum, which I don't think will be out by the time this video comes out, uh, where the uh, Italian peninsula has been changed very much when it comes to trade. It's going to be a north-south divide uh, instead of splitting it down the middle. And also trade changes up in the north as well, Saxony becoming an end node. Uh, this route from Celtic Sea to Pictoni is going to be cut. Uh, so hopefully trade is not going to be so uh, Italicentric, let's say, uh, in future, which will be nice. And we have gotten our final infrastructure idea. Uh, we're eight years at a time, so there's no problem taking it. Religious, uh, sorry, Regulation Bureau getting some construction time, which is quite nice. But we also get the Rebel Prince. Our adherence to the Romana faith greatly annoys the Grandadirum in Roma. Not a day goes by when he doesn't demand our complete subordination. While lesser states would cave before his demand, ours stand proudly defiant. Rebel has long been used as a slur against the common man. Sometimes rebellion is the only righteous thing to do. So we got some infantry combat ability, and our finisher was also uh, to get prestige per development from missionary, which is uh, yeah, it's kind of it's fine, I guess. Uh, so up to twenty percent uh, infantry combat ability. Of course, we got some a little bit from mercenary ideas as well. Uh, so yeah, our military is just getting really, really powerful and really good. We also unlocked mercenary discipline. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything going on right now there, so sure. So my mercs currently have a 16.4% discipline boost um, on top of the 105. So they're 121 discipline. Uh, you know, we, we take those. We definitely take those. We also have 75% improved relations, uh, which is so handy for getting that aggressive expansion to go away. I um, mean, it's still high, right? But mostly, I mean, it's it's like the, in the 40s, 30s around here. But if we can take out this block of of people who are already too high, um, then I think we're gonna be a little bit okay. I, I feel like we're getting close to the stage where aggressive expansion isn't that big of a deal, which is kind of nice. Uh, also, uh, with infrastructure finisher, I get 10% dev cost, and I do need to spend a little bit of dev on my uh, on my diplo. I'm getting a bit high, so we're gonna do that. The silly Catalonians have attacked. Um, Sardinia and taken provinces and I actually want um, Avadis so we're gonna be attacking them now because I mean that's a trade center in the best trade node and I also would definitely like to get a foothold in um, Sicily itself cuz that those are some good trade down there too so uh, yeah we're gonna attack there I don't really care if anyone here joins so uh, yeah let's go I also built myself some transports because I thought they might come in handy for this. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure they will. I'll also be able to take Malta, though it's nowhere near as good as in base game because there isn't the... Uh, I can't remember what the monument's called, but the monument in Malta is actually really good in vanilla. So we now have Pacatus Sapiobal on the throne. Maybe I should have prevented him from getting there quite so fast so that we could have that discipline. Because, uh, yeah, Carthalon is actually quite strong. They went to Tech 12 before I did. Uh, I've gone there now, uh, but I didn't realize in time, so we lost a couple of battles. Um, though, thankfully, not with our main stack. Um, but our mercs got kind of kind of shit on. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was kind of embarrassing. Um, but now we've got... The, the, you know, we, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Theogony is going to fall to us. Uh, then we march on. We'll probably fight him in the mountains and, and hopefully win. It's, it's going to be great. 
troops feel good when they know a good person is directing operations. Sylvanas Tiberius is probably the greatest military mind our country has ever seen. Uh, that would be this land maintenance modifier guy. Uh, so yeah, we we get 20% morale. Over. I, I don't think they they stand much of a chance anymore. No, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think that's I think that's kind of it for them. 20% morale of armies is definitely uh, <laughs> enough to to overcome that quality imbalance that there may have been. But we're just sieging anyway. Oh, also, we got ourselves an Air Agrippa Sapio Balas 443. Not bad. Uh, so we'll hopefully see his progress grow and, you know, he'll be a good ruler for us one day. Time to cross the strait. And not only have they not built a fort here, which is just incredibly stupid, uh, they've also just, like, abandoned the mountains. Uh, so, yeah, they can just go sit in. Oh, they're not even abandoning the hills. They are scared. They are so scared. Let's, let's all just go to the grassland and pretend everything's fine. Yeah, okay. Let's see how you fare now. 4.8 morale versus 4. Like, the fact is their morale is still incredible. Do they have uh, modifiers for this? Uh, they have some infantry combat ability. 10% morale of armies. But that can't be... That can't be it. Anyway, uh, it's time for them to die now. And crushed. Uh, let's grab you to blockade. Oh, and they're only going to retreat here. Lovely stuff. All right, stack wiped. Very, very nice. Uh, we got three siege, so we'll have you take on that siege. And. Get that war won. Uh, I do actually want to go and kill your navy, though. So we'll pop our boats out here. Hopefully, we'll be able to capture some ships, kill some ships, uh, do that kind of thing. Panormus has also been sieged. So yeah, they're all going to sit in Malta now, huh? Well, let's uh, go and siege Malta, and then we're done. Now, we probably won't kill all of the ships. Actually, I think I just lost some ships there. I, I, I feel like that's what just happened. Am I actually losing this fight? We have so much higher engagement width. They've just got way more galleys than I have. Which is strange, because I did start the fight with some galleys. Okay, maybe I just wasn't filling up the engagement width. Uh, yeah, I lost all of my galleys. I lost... No, wait, no, that's them. I, but I still lost all of my galleys, which is crazy. Uh, anyway, the war is over. And now we assign a piece to see what we can take. Obviously, I want that. I would very much like to take that. But that's actually fine still. Maybe... Maybe that's fine. Right, Naples. I don't need your land. Uh, we'll force religion, because that'd be funny. And peace you out. And then we're going to do the same with you. Peace you out for war reps. Uh, transfer trade power, money. You're already the right religion. Lovely stuff. And then, yeah, we're going to peace uh, out Carthaloon. I would like that... That seems reasonable to me. And then war reps. I uh, can't force religion it's too expensive. Pillage would be nice. 1-1-1 one, one, one in the capital. Actually, I'm going to take that. Because 1-1-1 one, one in, one in the capital is really nice. Um, yeah, so we're going to take that. So I have a trade center mountain crossing. Just uh, really, really good. Uh, so, let's have everyone back to their positions. We'll probably get the main army to go back to northern Italy, uh, core everything up, and, uh, yeah. Hmm, a coalition has started to form, which is a little worrying. Uh, I think, uh, you know, 
Lombardi called me into this war, and then as soon as they saw that I was at war, they're like, Ah! Rub sands together. We know what we're doing now. We need to go and fuck on the Italians. Uh, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I, I, I still think I'd beat them if they even called in everything here. Um, but it is a little bit annoying. Because um, it, it takes a lot more effort to get rid of a coalition member than it is to uh, have one join. Uh, like I say, we do have the improved relations guy. Um, I should probably improve relations with outraged countries as well, but I do feel like uh, this this entire situation is going to be one of just bleeding away aggressive expansion while we take nibbles here and there. Yeah, everyone's joining. Okay, it's basically all of Italy now. I'm gonna I'm gonna be in a coalition war, like almost certainly, I think. So, can you hurry up and win your war? It's, uh, it's kind of... Time... Time is of the essence. Because we have so much aggressive expansion, we need, uh, we need other options in the way of, you know, expansion that aren't so aggressive. So, uh, for the likes of Novin Moria here, who I allied a while ago to get the goods-produced, uh, religious doodad, scholar do man, um, I am able now to vassalize him. And... We're going to try and vassalize a bunch of the smaller guys. Like, you, I can now ally. You don't like it that I'm um, allied to uh, Theogonia, this guy. But I, I don't care. Um, we're we're going we're gonna to get them all. We're going to get them all. Uh, I'm over my relations limit by one, but I can now get strong duchies. Uh, I don't think we need... What don't we need... Increased levies I don't think is necessary anymore. Like, we've got lots and lots of manpower. Um, manpower recovery speed, that was so good. Let's get, take away officer rights. And then get ourselves strong duchies. Oh, I need two vassals? Alright, well, we're working on it. We're, we're pretty close. So I just royal marry. I'll, I'll get the influence. I'll do all that kind of stuff. And I'll get the strong duchies going. And, uh, yeah, I also got myself a bigger merc stack. So that we can avoid coalitions. He's six shock as well, which is uh, pretty decent. Uh, I think I'll take a little bit of money. And... I'm going to save it for now. And here is another vassal. That's two now. And we can get strong duchies. Which uh, gets rid of our relations problem. We're now at five out of six. Uh, we now need to work on this guy who's at 118. So yeah, there's three vassals in pretty short order, all in the south. Uh, we're probably going to be able to get them to get claims on Elisonia, uh, have a bit of conquest up that way. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's already got claims. He's got claims on all of bloody the Necarat. Necarot, even. So, lots of opportunities there. And the coalition is falling apart as well, which is exactly what we want to see. So, let's also transfer trade power. That's an extra 10 relations. Uh, what else can we do? Send him a gift. 50 ducats is fine. 189. Okay, so... Now, it should be the case that... Oh, I'm not improving relations with him. God damn it. Alright, next month we'll be able to get that vassalization. And there we go. Three extra vassals in the south. Uh, I could probably do more. Like, I could probably swing this guy. Oh, I own your core provinces? What? You have cores down here. Interesting. Did not know that. Benevento's the wrong religion. Capitanata. I mean, we could probably do you as well. The more we get as vassals, uh, the fewer we have to conquest. I, I do think it's a decent idea. We'll start improving relations with you as well. Uh, Mollusum as well we could do. Uh, we got Pescara here, which are just outraged, but otherwise they would be fine to do it as well. Uh, Abruzzum. Same story. I, I think we go... I think we're going to go full vassal swarm. Uh, 
it'd be nice to get a little bit more Diplo relations, but I mean, I don't feel too bad about dropping like Ostholm or Lombardia. They're not, not really helping me, let's say. I'm definitely do something there. Also, what is this? Swaby are attacking Sardinia. That's actually really good for me. If they take that, I don't have a truce with Swaby. I have a truce with Sardinia. I just attack Swaby. They're pretty big, and, you know, I might have a big fight on my hands, but that would be fun. But that is also going to come in the next episode, because I'm going to put a cut in here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, please do leave your comments in the comment section below. They help me out a ton. And I will see you in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.